Welcome to the Challenger League Virtual Week 2. We're taking a look at our teams here. Another big uh, token dump from Pappy Pops Racing. Our leaders, Nomscar, Aria, Carmina, Danimator, and uh, Apple Amazing also making an investment. Rosine for Rick Ware. We're going to Monaco this week for the Monte Carlo C Prix. Let's get to qualifying here. I'm your host, Game on Goose. Let's see who's going to take the poll for week two in the CLV. Right off the bat, away, we are looking at Aria Carmina from Scuderia Carmina Racing here. Up through the first turn. Dropping back a little bit, but still. Oh, it's Pappy up in front, actually, to start. Apple Amazing, Vlad Richard as well. Oh, but we are going to get rain. Which means that if they all pit, if anyone decides to stay out on softs, they're going to get a pole position lap. But I think everyone's going to pit. That means that this lap will be botched. The out lap will be botched. And we will have a sprint on inters. And it's, oh, it's 6 YDG onto the wet. So already some exciting deviation. And the full rain is coming. But I think they'll be able to get a, a good interlap in as the rain compiles on the track slowly. Pappy and Vlad Richard still out front. And Pappy Pops duo looking very good to start the season. Miku from Tour Racing also lighting it up on the inters. Here with some grip benefits for sure. And what do we have here? This is our lap that will count on the enters. It is now fully wet, so 6YDG will have the advantage. This will be the only lap that counts because the out lap will be obviously too slow. So, it's sliding around the corner, Pappy and Vlad Richard, but uh, Apple Amazing has made a very big charge. He may be in a pole position now as he takes the speed and the grip of the Polish Orlin car. Right to its limits. Danimator looking very good as well. Pappy's across the line first, but Apple Amazing could be fastest with a 33-1-0. Interesting quality. Basically a one-shot on a fully wet track on inters. Not going to be the best times. Apple Amazing is third. Vlad Richard takes the pole for Pappy Pop Racing. Miku, Apple Amazing, Danimator, Pappy in 5th, Toad Speed in 6th, Aria Carmona 7th, Nomscar for Matessa in 8th, with a point dump of 3 tokens, Kamikaze with a double Talento Rojo top 10 start, and Musa in 10th for Rick Ware Racing, 11th place is Rosim, his teammate, Golden Phoenix rounding out the Toad Racing System duo, in 13th, Julo, 6YDG in 14th, in 15th, the first Hurricane, not that guy. Floyd McLovin Jr. for Tour Racing. And the other three. Down the line, the Rich Energies and Hurricane at the back of the grid. We are underway. Vlad Richard out front as he battles with Miku. Danimator goes wide. Apple Amazing pushing up the back. Pushing Vlad Richard forward, and then he goes inside for the lead. It's Apple Amazing. He's got it. Miku goes inside a Danimator and keeps him up. Behind, Pappy takes a big stab around and moves up into fourth place. Nomscar using the slipstream. Arya Kamurna slides back. Toad, Kamikaze, and Rosim rounding out your top ten as Pappy and Vlad jockey for the top second and third position as Danimator goes by. Takes another slipstream on Vlad Richard and he's up into second place as Apple Amazing is nowhere to be seen in this pack. Already nearly two seconds ahead of the pace. Oh my goodness, what a start from Apple Amazing. The Lord Apple himself. Here we go. Danimator hanging on to second. Vlad Richard takes a charge but pulls back in for the slipstream. Very big battles there in the top 10 and beyond. But we have a very important battle here. Nomscar has made himself part of the conversation. Trying to take it on Danimator for second place. It's Nomscar into second. All right, Miku falling back, back. Aria Carmona even getting ahead of him as she goes to slipstream. Pappy and makes the pass as well. So Aria Carmona up into that top five position. Vlad Richard. On the hards, trying to stay in the slipstream of Nomscar for that top three, the podium. And Miku takes a nice inside weave on the hairpin 
and gets by as they go into the tunnel. And coming out, Vlad Richard goes outside on Nomskar. Big sweeping pass on the Nouvelle Chicane. And into third place. Miku passed Nomskar as well. Pappy now looking to get past Nomskar. What happened? Nomskar's, maybe those tires are coming to an end very, very quickly. Those softs, I don't know. But Nomskar just climbed rapidly up into second and then lost all of that pace. Danimator now, on the other hand, seems to be catching up to Apple Amazing, shutting the gap down to less than a second. <clears throat> Nomskar past Vlad Richard. Arya past Miku. Toad Speed hanging around in 8th place looking to close the gap on Miku Tour Racing <laughs> Tour Racing team in that dark purple storm car. New team on the grid of course but a brand new owner and participate in the league Miku having only registered one CL race in his UR2D proper racing career. Now into the ownership role in the virtual league. Rosim and Musa Still 9 and 10 on Rick Ware racing. Danimator looking to close the gap even more on Apple Amazing. Less than a second. And here we go. Nomskar putting some space between himself and the other drivers. Arya, Karmana, and Miku slipstreaming each other. Maybe trying to work together to pull back closer to Nomskar. Not quite working though. Vlad Richard almost spinning, putting a pit maneuver on Amiku. As he's fell way off the pace, all the way back into 7th spot, Pappy holding on his teammate to 3rd as Pappy Pops comes in as the World Constructors Championship leaders. And I think there's a pit, yep, that's a pit from Apley. Apley has pitted, that puts Danimator in the lead. <coughs> Excuse me, a touch of COVID today. As Danimator rolls on into 1st, Pappy closing the gap. And staying right there with him now. The mediums are going to be working better than the softs for this point in time. Aria Carmina in front of Apple going to be passed easily as Apple's got the new softs on. That's two soft stints for Apple Amazing. Vlad Richard making his way past Miku as Rosine starts to catch up a little bit. Now past Toad Speed. Julo in 11th. About five seconds back of Nomscar for the top 10. So our top 10 may have already been decided just seven laps into this race. Somewhat of a gap deemed insurmountable by this man right here in the commentary booth. I don't know what's to come in this race, but Julo at six and a half back nearly already. I would count that as your top 10 sealed, signed, delivered, stamped, shipped, you name it. What a discrepancy. I've never seen such a large discrepancy between an entire half of the grid. All those tokens being spent early on, making a huge difference. But there are drivers that, you know, have spent tokens that won't be seeing anything for their efforts. But Danimator getting the value of the day, not that guy in Corvid, um, particularly spending no oh, not that guy spending one token sorry Danimator getting great value on his three tokens pushing up deep into the top five uh, taking a step back down to sixth with his new mediums on but in net second place Pappy Pops stretching his mediums into 10th spot. Some people will be pitting with their hards. Yeah, there, Arya takes the pit the same lap as Pappy on hards. So Pappy really getting the most out of his hards, but really not paying off that much as he's still neck and neck with Arya Carmina right here. Vlad Richard, one of your last drivers to pit on his hard tires. Apple Amazing, comfortably out in the lead putting some lap traffic in between himself and the rest of the pack. Six second gap to second place. Vlad Richard still has to pit, so we're calling Danimator second place right now as Pappy tries to get back in on his new set of softs this time. And we'll be catching up to Danimator, Danimator fairly soon. This should be the in lap for Vlad Richard as he skids off. Oh, catching a bit of the wall. Danimator 
going to be able to get by him quite easily, you would think. Maybe using the lap traffic as a barricade. Oh, taking a bit of body there. Push to the outside. Pappy giving Danimator a hard time. <laughs> not getting a... Uh, not able to get by Vlad Richard as easy, but returns the favor, nudges him into the wall, and he's on his merry way. And Vlad Richard should be pitting now with Priya and Suwasid. There they go, and Arya Carmina slides by Pappy on a slipstream. As Pappy took a little bit of a skid on the last lap and allowed Danimator to put some distance between the two. Apple Amazing now battling... And passed by Danimator, having to get in the way of his teammate 6YDG, causing a bit of an obstacle. And this has allowed none other than Papi and Aria Carmonera, Carmona, sorry, to get right back up into this battle. So we now have a four-way fight for the lead as Papi is in slipstream range. Apple Amazing now onto the hards. There he goes. Papi into the lead, albeit temporarily, as Apple Amazing will surely be able to outlast this stint of softs and wow that's just how good Apple is takes a penalty but gets by Danimator on the dive bomb through the hairpin comes out ahead Danimator drops off rapidly in pace there and Arya is allowed to go past into third Namskar kind of drifting alone with the buffer Vlad Richard trying to get back into this race and get some points a four point token spend for the Pappy Pops teammates they have used a total of eight tokens each already in their first two races. Just two left for Pappy and three left for Vlad Richard. Apple Amazing putting the shoulder into Pappy, taking it back. Pappy not getting caught behind Kamikaze as he goes into the curb into the shoulder there. And we're on lap 16 here at Monte Carlo. Pappy Pops leading. Danimator, a brilliant race in third so far. Ahead of Aria Carmona. And Vlad Richard, both who have spent four tokens. Danimator only spending three, getting good value out of this race. Apple Amazing have some trouble here with not this guy. Not that guy, sorry. As he drops off a little bit on the pace to Pappy, but Pappy has to peel in. On that very short, soft stint, the tire's dying very quickly here. And oh my goodness, Golden Phoenix takes a penalty, but not before taking Apple Amazing off the track, out of the pits. And this is going to allow Danimator to get right back into it. And Apple Amazing's got more trouble. Floyd McLovin Jr. now taking some body from Apple Amazing. This is costing him time. And this is now Danimator closing the gap. Here we go. A second and a half. Apple Amazing looking to extend that as he now has some clean air finally. Carmona now looking at Danimator as he's stuck behind two lapped cars. Rosim still battling up into sixth from Rick Ware Racing. An excellent job. Musa down in ninth, but Rosim doing an excellent job spending three points to try and make his value payoff in this race the investment every token is precious you do not want to waste them but there's a lot of spenders here a lot of spenders in this race as Carmina and Danimator come in Pappy 3.7 seconds behind Apple Amazing Apple Amazing on dying hards Pappy on fairly good mediums and Vlad Richard now in third place here we go. Rosine being chased down by Danimator. Miku holding on to that 8th position with a 3-point investment as well. So some of these 3-point spenders are going to be disappointed with their uh, with their final finishing today. I am assuming um, just those podium positions are not there for them. This would be a great race to snag one in. But as popular as Monaco is, you just have to expect that a lot of drivers would want to win this race, therefore we have a large token dump today. <coughs> Our last place runner. Lapped again by Pappy. Apple Amazing following behind closely. Pappy's medium still in decent shape. Apple Amazing over halfway through the hards. 
So it will be one more stint each. For tires to the end of the race. Vlad Richard using Julo as a nice embankment to get an easy return from the pits there. Vlad Richard comes in in a net sixth place for now. As we look through the grid, Toad Speed in that tenth spot. Still our same top 10 as we have had before. A silent but deadly Namskar. A few laps on his own and now he's battling with Vlad Richard behind him and Danimator in front. Vlad Richard takes the slipstream and is by Namskar and continues that slipstream to get by Danimator. Now Danimator will have the slipstream on Vlad Richard but Namskar is now coming behind him on the hard tires. He's going to be able to pull that pass off anyway. Pappy. A second and a half back. Danimator is by Namskar. In front of Namskar, sorry. There's, you can see them battling on the track beside. Arya Carmona looking very strong. Sitting on that podium spot for now. Hoping that Vlad Richard does not have enough uh, wherewithal or tire strategy. To make a go of it here in the closing stages of this race, we have 15, 14 laps left. Apple Amazing now sitting on very worn hards. How long will he stretch him? Pappy's medium still in decent shape. Lap traffic in between. That costs Apple some time. Tasting the sidewall on the first turn. Still keeping it fairly decent around, yeah, very, very, very good around the Grand Hotel chicane, the uh, hairpin, sorry. And I think he's doing all right on these Warren Hards. Not bad at all. Not losing too much time to Pappy. Pappy wants to regulate that lap time, get another couple laps. Oh, he takes an early pit on the mediums, and Apple stays out for another overcut on the Hards. Probably trying to force himself into range where he can take softs. Or just one set of hards to the end. I mean, you're already in range to do so. That's what Pappy will be doing. But we're going to have to see what Apley decides to do as Arya Carmina um, sits in third right now. But I don't think that will be your finishing position. Vlad Richard has much better tires. She's going to have to go in for some more tires as well pretty soon. Maybe this lap even as Pappy is on his final stint of hards for 13 laps. It's going to be a sloppy finish for Pappy as Arya goes in. For the fresh tires and Vlad Richard runs into third place. So it's another Pappy Pops double podium situation unfolding here at the Monte Carlo Cipri. Danimator looking for a taste of some podium action himself in the TAR. We are looking at... Oh, now a big hunt down between him and Aria right now. He's going to have to pit and make a go of it. If he can get in onto those softs, he may have a great chance if he can make those mediums last a little bit longer. Let's see if he decides to do so. That is the moment that Pappy took his tires in for hards, but he stays out. Apple Amazing now battling with Vlad Richards. A great battle here. Whoa, very good fast pass into the hairpin. And Apple Amazing is steadily past Vlad Richard, 96, into second place and hunting down Pappy. But... There is one problem. Apple Amazing does not have near the tire life to last. As he may be able to pass Pappy, but we'll have to pit again. Advantage will be to Pappy going in. It is Apple Amazing's race to win. Will he pit at the right time to give himself enough time to catch up again? Musa. 3976. A quiet investment of two points, but only sitting in ninth position. It's got to be disappointing, but not surprising given the spending of the rest of the drivers. As we've discussed before, the clouds loomed, but they did not break. It returns to sun. And it looks like a fairly dry race. Maybe that's the way it'll finish. Ooh, Julo takes a sweeping entry back onto that track there. Is Toad Speed rounding out your top ten? <laughs> Follows Apple Amazing for some... Leader slipstream here. Here he's following Pappy. Pappy on the hards. Apple Amazing on the softs. Dropping off. 
Looks like he's going to be okay, taking the slip and the pass, and here we are, lap 30 of 37, Applamazing leads. Those softs will be dying soon, Pappy staying within that slipstream range, going to really try and waste the effectiveness of Applamazing softs, not being able to build a lead, take him into the wall a little bit, but they stay clean, and here they go. In through the tunnel and out to the Nouvelle Chicane, into the harbor area, it's nose to tail, Ding dong battle, here we go. Pappy goes inside out, and can he do the switch back? He tries, stays in the slipstream at least. He has the edge on the straight, and here we go. Lap 31, now Pappy leads. Apple Amazing's tires are falling off fast. Pappy taking his hards to the end. Apple Amazing still a little bit faster, takes the slipstream and the pass to the same spot in the hairpin. Oh, Apple Amazing takes a little bit of wall, and he struggles, and Pappy stays ahead of him, but... Oh my goodness, Floyd McLovin in the TOR gets in Pappy's way, and he's over in front of Apple Amazing. Apple Amazing slows a little bit in the chicane. As Danimator and Nomscar in a neck and neck battle of their own, Pappy, a little bit of breathing room in front of Floyd McLovin as Apple pits for his last stint of soft six laps to go. The race is on. Danimator and Nomscar both into the pits, racing for that top five spot. Vlad Richards comfortably in fourth, but wants to put the chase on Apple Amazing and Aria Carmona, who is surprisingly sitting in second place, getting chased down by Apple. If she can hang on with those hard tires, she could be looking at a podium, but there comes Vlad Richard hard behind. All right, Apple Amazing should be able to get by Aria very soon and chase down Pappy. Pappy's hoping now that Aria Carmona gets in his way enough to delay his pursuit. And there is now three lap drivers in the way. Aria not making it easy. Not really her race right there. Apple clearly on the better tires, but she is giving it her all. What a gritty performance by the SCR. And Apple Amazing is easily by not that guy. And now, just four laps to chase down Pappy. If that job was difficult coming out of the pits, it is that much more difficult because of the Scuderia Carmona. And she is going to give way. Oh, taking a penalty to Vlad Richards, she's going to give way to him. Vlad Richards now up into the podium spot. Chasing Apple. Will Vlad Richard be able to challenge Apple for second place, maybe? Toad Speed. Granting some slipstream to Apple now two and a half seconds, two and a quarter seconds, somewhere around there to go. Three laps remaining. Pappy's tires got to be hitting the wall soon. 13 laps on the hards is what he was going to pull to get to the end of this race. Vlad Richard really closing the gap on Apple Amazing. We could have a whole different story if Apple's not able to catch Pappy, which may be the case because it took so long to get by the rest of the lap cars. He may have a Vlad Richard on his tail. Could it be another Pappy Pops 1 2? Apple Amazing is closing the gap, though very tightly. Oh, those tires are dropping off very quickly now for Pappy. It looks like he's going to get past. Oh, there it is. That'll do it. Off the track, into the side, sidewall, and the shoulder. And Apple Amazing takes the inside pass into the hairpin, and that is it. Apple Amazing has the pass and the lead, getting by Suosid, putting a lap driver or two in between himself and Pappy, and Pappy will not have the pace. That will be your winner. Apple Amazing, one lap to go. Just extend that lead and hold it is all he needs to do, barring any accidents. Vlad Richard now pursuing Pappy, maybe for the third spot. So this battle is now going to be, will Vlad Richard catch Pappy? For second place. Ooh, takes a little bit wide. That could have been a good opportunity to do so. Congratulations to Apple Amazing. An absolutely amazing performance here in Monaco. It would be so suiting that the King would win it here in Monte Carlo. All right, here we go. Apple Amazing rounding the final couple corners to win the second ever CLV race. Your champion. The Monaco Cipri goes to Apple Amazing and a Pappy Pops 2-3. Aria Carmina, an excellent fourth place and Danimator grabbing fifth. Namskar, Rosim in seventh. Miku for TOR, a promising start, but dropped down to eighth. Musa for Rick Ware, grabbing a couple points in ninth. And 
Toad Speed, investing two skill points, but only able to muster up single driver's point. There you have it, the fastest lap from Apley, 30.62. An excellent result for Polish national racing team Orlin. Swapping podiums is teammate 6YDG from week 1 to week 2. Golden Phoenix just out of the points for Toad Racing, spending a point and getting nothing to show for it. Not that guy. Also, a fruitless point spent, as is Floyd McLovin Jr., all the other drivers not investing anything into their races this time. Floyd McLovin, Julo, Kamikaze, 6YDG, Suicide, Priya, Corvid, and Prolime. That does it for your CLV Week 2 in Monte Carlo. We will see you next week in Baku.